Howdy, what's up? My name is Mohit and people uh, I'm gonna demonstrate how easy it is and how much control you actually get when you create the stitched effect using uh, multiple background images but one that actually includes an SVG uh, along with the PNG. This is the SVG image and this is the PNG image. Uh, let me show you a browser preview first and we'll come back to the discussion. Okay, now this is the stitched effect on a denim pattern. Uh, now the denim pattern is uh, one background image which is the PNG image that's been repeated along the x-axis and the other background image is the stitched SVG image. Now SVG is supported uh, from I9 and upwards. It's supported in I9, 10, so on and so forth. Not supported in I678. Now I wanted to uh, have a PNG fallback and I actually did that. We will talk uh, talk about it. Okay, so I came up with a solution that works in i six seven eight nine and other browsers. So of course, don't have any problem at all. Right. So the denim pattern is one background image. The stitched, uh, you know, the stitching is an SVG image. Let me show you the local site folder as well. So in the, I was not too sure that if I can actually include the SVG image as uh, one of the multiple background images. I tested and it worked. What is an SVG image? Uh, these are not uh, you know uh, pixel based images but you can zoom on them as much as you would want. These are vector based images and they uh, don't lose their quality at all. So this is the uh, this was the first of the multiple background images and this is the fallback people. I'll tell you what a fallback is. We need a fallback for I678. Uh, and this was the other image that had been repeated along the x-axis. Okay. Now why was I actually needed to use multiple background images? You know, I tried, I have done the, the same thing uh, with CSS and and there are so many tutorials around which actually show you that you can accomplish the this stitched effect using um, a dashed border. Now the problem with the dashed border is it doesn't give you control over the spacing of the dashes and this, uh, you know, the the, the 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 length of the dashes, the width of the dashes, and the spaces uh, of the dashes. You you can try it. Try creating a dashed border, or even a dotted border. You will never be able to control the width of the dashes or the dots and the space uh, between them. You can do so if you actually change the width, but if you change the width, uh, then um, you know the width is may not be something that you actually want. But when I created the SVG stitches, I you know it's it's a it's a code thing in the uh, XML format. It gives me the freedom. It gives me the liberty to. Um, control the dashes, the width that is, and the space uh, among them. That was the reason, since I wanted that, that kind of a control, I used an SVG along with the PNG. You see here, now what was the need for me to mention uh, the background property twice? Let's first understand the HTML and then we'll talk about the CSS. Now if you notice inside the body of the document, I have a div with the class of stitch which has been defined out here width of 400 height of 200 pixels that is I have background property 1 background property 2 now if you notice the first background property displays a stitch.png image now this image let me show that to you is gonna work as a fallback for IE678 this what I did was I displayed the multiple background images took a screenshot and cropped it and then saved it as a PNG Okay, so what's the need? What's the need of doing it? See, I678 do not understand the statement. They do not um, uh, obey or they do not uh, support multiple background images at all. So nothing's going to display. In which case, this works as the fallback. Now, for other browsers, first it, it displays this, this, and instantly when it finds, 
uh, that there's another background property it, it it chucks it out it leaves it immediately and then displays this so there is an override this gets overridden by this so no matter what browser you actually use your background you know your denim pattern is going to display anyhow okay now let me say that again when you create an SVG image uh, let me sh bring the local site up again this is the SVG image which is actually uh, a chunk of code let me show that to you view source okay uh, it's just a lot of uh, code in the XML format this is how it actually looks it's a lot of code you just put it in notepad and save it as an SVG extension I get complete control over the dashes the the color the width the spacing the length of the dashes the space among them and that is the reason uh, why I did not use a dashed border because that doesn't give me any control right so you see all we need to understand now is how did I create the SVG dashed pattern or the stitched effect so once I show that to you I think I should be sorted let me show that to you so guys what you need to do is let's go to <coughs> let's go to yep google.com and then type Go beg your pardon. Google's SVG editor. Now pick up this link. This is the online editor. This is the URL people. Right. This is the URL. Now it's very simple to actually manipulate it from here. So let me say I would want the document. I would want to change the document properties, and would want to change it to 400 by 200 because that is how big the stitched um, background area is. This is where the denim pattern is contained in this area these are the demarcation of the boundaries okay so this is your canvas next to people let me ensure that the fill is set to nothing transparent and the stroke is set to an orange okay so orange stroke also ensure that the stroke width is let's say a 2 and let me click here stroke is actually dashes you can choose it from here and the corners are actually slightly rounded alrighty and click out here to create a rectangle draw the rectangle out this is the way I actually drew the rectangle out and then let's round it off a little bit I can do the rounding here uh, let's go up to 10 okay and yep so this is how I actually got the stitched effect then click on the SVG button now this is the code people that you can push it inside notepad and save as an SVG extension all I did was to control the length of the dashes and the space between them see one the first argument out here the dash array is the length or the width of the uh, dashes the that's five pixels and the space among them is five so I just change it to seven and five seven is the length increase the length and uh, let the you know the space between the dashes as 5px just took the code okay brought up you know I just brought up a notepad and just saved it as stitch.svg and I was actually I created an SVG image so SVG images are nothing but they are chunks of code and in the end people 
I use the stitched SVG first, and then I actually use the denim pattern second. Second, because this this uh, you know this creates the layer. Whatever is used first is uh, as used as a topmost layer, and I use it as multiple background images. But then I you know once it actually rendered out in the let's say the Chrome browser, I took a screenshot. I went to paint as you know something as simple as paint. I zoomed on it. I zoomed on the image, and I cropped it and saved it as a PNG. So PNG serves as a fallback for I older versions like 6, 7, 8, comma, 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 right? So and for uh, for uh, most modern contemporary browsers that actually support multiple background images will also support SVG people. SVG is a format, vector based format, XML uh, kind of a code. Uh, I, you know, I used SVG along with the denim pattern. Notice that uh, this is not repeated and this has been repeated along the x-axis. Right. So, in the end, I got what I got. And uh, as I've shown you, it has complete compatibility. Uh, did I actually show you an IE preview? I don't think so. Let me uh, bring up IE. Did I or did I not? I think I did. I'm not too sure. Uh, let's do it again. Okay, so this is IE9 that I have. If I press F12 and I can change the browser mode out here. See, see this is 8. Now, this is a PNG image. This is not a, a result of a multiple background image. And this is 7 people. Okay, so for 6, 7, uh, 7 and 8, I'm actually displaying the PNG as a fallback because it doesn't understand multiple background images. But for other modern contemporary browsers like Chrome, okay, uh, we are using multiple background images, the SVG combined with the PNG image. All right, so that is so simple. So uh, the whole point is SVG gives you good control uh, since it's a code-based. Um, it's a, it's actually the image is actually a code XML uh, look-alike code, right? So people, uh, I hope you found this information useful. What's great about SVGs is uh, start using them a lot more. Bec because they are vector based, they're not roster based, they're not pixel based or point based, they do not lose the quality on stretching, on zooming. And uh, that's, um, isn't that really good? So that gives you crisper images, right? Uh, so with such a, you know, such a compact code, I get the stitched denim pattern, pattern um, in a flawless manner that's supported across even the older uh, browsers of IE. So people, let me know how you found this uh, tutorial. Uh, thumb the video up if you think uh, uh, I, I did a, a decent job. Subscribe if you still haven't. And um, please comment, negative or positive. I love to hear from you. You have a good day. See you soon. Bye-bye. Peace.